told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of. You're taking a video. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step. At a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Today's more or less the same cheat day. Yeah, it's more or less the same cheat day. The next day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Kagame to everyone that is new to all those returning subscribers. Karibu sana, feel at home. And for those who have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. I started this vlog without doing the intro. You so saw when I was on a date and I went around the mall and all that. So um, this is the intro, guys. Okay, Karibu sana. It's early in the morning. I'm doing some baking. I'm doing a banana cake. So. In this vlog, I'm also going to be sharing a banana cake recipe with you all, okay? I'm going to visit my friends today in the afternoon and I decided why not bake a banana cake for them. And that's exactly what I want to do right now, guys. So let's get started. We are going to start baking our cake. Just take one mixing bowl. Place your sieve because we are doing solid ingredients first, then liquid ingredients ingredients later so we are going to save all our solid ingredients add one three quarter cup of all-purpose flour which is one cup i have a cup and i usually have a, a quarter cup of cornstarch or corn flour to make the cake soft then we are going to add half a tablespoon of baking soda One tablespoon that is half a half a teaspoon I mean of baking soda and uh, one tablespoon of baking powder a quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder we are going to sieve everything then we whisk <laughs> we have our solid mix ready and then let's do the liquid mix i have three bananas over here and the best banana to use is the overripe banana so we are going to mash this do not over mash or over mix your mixture okay we want to have this part of banana cake in the cake of banana in the cake I mean here we go we have we are going to add in eggs both of them If you doubt your eggs should be would be rotten in one way or another, please beat them in a separate bowl first. But I'm sure that mine are okay. Then after that, we are going to add in sugar. So what I'm going to do, you're supposed to add three quarter cup of sugar. This is half a cup of brown sugar. You can see how 
it looks like these are the brown molasses you can get that in the supermarket guys then we have a quarter cup of icing sugar then i'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract vanilla guys so I'm going to add more then we are going to add melted butter half a cup then we are going to mix that I'm going to add some lemon zest so I'm going to grate this in here to kill the smell of eggs I don't love the smell of eggs guys ingredients which are there I'm going to grease my baking tin and I usually use butter or butter to grease the tin be generous as you're greasing the tin guys you don't want your cake to stick as much as the baking tin is a grease proof tin you don't want surprises okay just be generous and grease that tin properly this cake usually takes around 50 minutes to, to completely bake. So, here we go, guys. Here we go. Our tin is ready. We are going to add in our solid ingredients. Then we mix. taken a shower i'm ready cakes are ready so let's go okay <laughs> the next day i switched off the socket for the fridge because i didn't want my hands to be so cold so i'm going to remove everything from this fridge everything everything so that we can clean guys look at this this is where i store my avocados and fruits my goodness <laughs> please guys <laughs> look at this this is where i store my tomatoes ho -ho and all that i'm so embarrassed <laughs>
the next day good morning guys it's the next day i yesterday i was so tired at night wow. but i finished cooking the chapeau i want to pack them and uh, store them in the freezer <laughs> that is what I have done with the storage of my food then we have a few storages there for the extra zeros that remained and also over here we have a few storage as well so what I want to do I'm not done yet I have to store these sweet potatoes I'm thinking of storing them in these um, storage bags because these ones are too big i want the space in the fridge to be a lot so i'm thinking of storing them in these storage bags these ones instead of these ones because these ones are taking too much space in the freezer <laughs> <laughs> 